Excel itself is a tool and a set of instructions that help us to analyze data. By the definition, it's just a program. But how efficiently we can use it, it depends on us. And what kind of functionality we can revoke and utilize in multiple spreadsheets, it's all up to us. So there is no limit to creativity in using Excel or any tool that you have available. Today, I will quickly demonstrate to you how you can create a small action tracker for yourself, which eventually can be beneficial for you to track your business and personal actions that you may have in future and you would like to close them and conquer them. Very simple and easy. I will come across this topic in future as well to demonstrate some more details around this. But today we'll start with a very, very basic setup, how you can make a small tracker for yourself. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this and I'm, I'm quite hopeful that it will be very useful for you as well. Let's start with this open um, spreadsheet you see over there, empty um, um, spreadsheet and we'll start it from scratch and we'll develop a small uh, kind of a tracker and let's see how it can be useful. We'll look into the basics of the tracking as well, action tracking. So the first and foremost thing I would like to highlight here is action item um, number, let's say. So action item number, let's say, let's start with one, two, three, and then take it down. Let's say till 15. So we have some action items. I would um, where align is center, so that it looks beautiful as well. Um, I will bold the titles as well. Now the next one should be a little bit bigger, a little bit more bigger than this. It should be description. So description of your action item, what kind of action it is that you would like to um, describe here. So I would like like take an example action um, let's put um, development of a student software this is one example I'm pulling in another example um, let's say pull in um, development of student not software but um, fee system um, we can pull it next action item um, let's in a case I have um, set up week and plan for team activity that's just just an example uh, pulled in one more action um, monthly uh, financial closing activities um, then I have um, let's say for example travel planning um, start of travel and then for example I put an action on one of my team members and let's say John um, to complete uh, publishing let's let's look like this one more action you see I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it easily and and so on and so forth um, action then then further action still action 15 I pulled some actions here let's say as an example whenever you have an action for yourself or for the team there must be a defined action owner for that as well so who is the action owner in this case we'll highlight here let's say in the first case um, definitely a team is going to develop this software for the team but in my opinion there should be only one lead one action owner who should drive the whole team for example for this chapter I have a team member, um, let's say um, Shruti, who is going to manage um, this this for me. Then I have another team member, um, Sanjeev, who is going to manage the next part. And then uh, team activity will be um, managed by another team member of mine, whose name is Palma, let's say. Monthly closing activities, each one of us have our shares, but the leadership goes down to let's say Mr. Ali who is going to drive this then travel planning is also done by supposed to be done by uh, Palma let's say um, start of the travel we have a date so travel who will do Ali let's say is going to travel 
Um, and then John uh, has an action, so we put John action owner here as well. And uh, for example, at this stage, we keep the other actions as empty. We have an action owner, we have action items, we have action description as well. It's a very simple example. You have pulled down some of the actions. Now, um, we must highlight here deadlines as well. Um, and the deadline is very important uh, for, for an action plan. And deadline will help you to certain um, uh, whether how, how you're going to plan the things, how we're going to close the things. Um, I will I will take for example here um, um, let's say um, control this today's date here let's pull in today's day and we we'll pull in some future dates here as well let's take examples and take one more example and okay these are I pulled today's date very specifically for a reason um, let's say this action is supposed to be done by someone today and we have some actions in past as well uh, which let's say uh, on 23rd and we have the same way as well the next uh, column we are going to pull in is status we are going to pull any status that we have and um, then we are going to add comments as well i will bold this as well now it's a beautiful um, kind of a table we have you can convert into um, table as well control t and you can convert into a table it look, it look it'll look very beautiful more professional but if you don't want it keep it simple like this you simply have to pull in some borders on it um, it look more beautiful um, you need to pull in some thick backgrounds as well and maybe it will be worth highlighting on the top a little grayish so that you can differentiate um, these over here now status you can pull anything let's say let's say um in progress is one status um complete is one status and we can pull like this to all here you can put any sort of comments that you would like to update here on a regular basis what kind of commentary you would like to highlight when it comes to the completion for example if it's in the progress and uh, development is in progress so what you can pull in is proto um, ready um, and and uh, testing in progress so this this will give you that what is the status exactly where exactly is this uh, project in terms of the overall uh, development cycle that is uh, kind of an overall structure we have. You can put any sort of comments that you have. For example, for completed, you can pull in done and or, or you can say um, activities uh, planned, um, execution um, um, ready. So just an example. So this column itself will give you more visibility. The comments part will give you more visibility around how um, uh, is the progress going on. When it comes down to the deadlines, I've selected these. You can use conditional formatting here to give it a little bit more visual and supportive um, kind of a, a situation as well. I'll give you an example here. You have to go to home and in the home tab, you have conditional formattings. If you have not used it in the past, don't worry, go to my channel and find conditional formatting i have a separate video for that i would rather put this um, link in the commentary as well down there in the description rather so you can click on that and look how this conditional formatting is done but we are going to practice it now if you want to go in detail you can go to the link but if not um, come with me and see how it works so uh, manage rules when you click on conditional formatting click on manage rules so manage rules i want to put a rule here what's the rule the rule is that when the date is in past, the cell should be red. When the date is today, it should be green. And when the date is in past, let's say it should be something else. Let's see, Pull, let's start pulling some colors on it. This, this is using current selection. The current selection is the deadlines. And I will pull in um, a new functionality, let's say here. The cell value is, let's say, equal to, and we have to select today's date. Today's date is 24th, formatting should be um, fill should be red and when it is red you will not be able to see properly the text so it's best if you change the color of the text to white as well 
So this means that in a case, if the cell value is, is equal to today, it will be red, which means it's your action item today. Fine. I'm just giving an example. You can make it green as well. Let's say if I make it um, light green, this is today. So it will demonstrate like this. But in this case, I'll have to pick up, sorry, I have to pick up the font color as black because it will be more prominent on green. So OK and apply. The moment you apply, you see that wherever today's date is picked up, it is green now, which means when you come down to your tracker, wherever it is green it's your action that you have to take you have to do something today or someone has to do something you can pick up the phone and ask john hey are you up to your tasks or you can pick up the phone and ask palma hey palma are you going well with the task etc this is one situation but i would add more rules in exactly the same current situation the next rule is if is the value is greater than um, sorry let's make it less than less than means um, the action wasn't passed. If the cell value is less than today, I will pick up the date today here. You can see it's a picked up date today. Then the format should be, let's say, red. Now, this makes sense to have it red, considering the fact that, there you go, because action is not done. So whenever you look at the, your tracker, you see red dates. That means there's a problem. So you need to take actions on that. For example, in these cases, the deadlines were in past. So somebody didn't take action. So you need to take appropriate push or actions in those direction. Now, what about the future dates? We have some future dates as well. So we'll add one more rule. Format only cells that contain cell value greater than today. So I will select here. Sorry, I'll click here and then select the date. What kind of format we should give it? So we should, let's say, give it yellow. So the yellow means it's going to be in future. So we don't have much problem with this. And we'll look into this. Now, your tracker is ready. You can see it's very simple tracker. It has action items, descriptions, action owners, deadlines as well, and statuses you can see over there also. So we'll go into more enhanced comprehensive and a little bit more complicated um, kind of a setup where you can link for example timeline with the status etc etc but just to be steady i'm trying to keep myself on a very simple level so that everyone can understand stay with me and we will go on to the next steps of action tracking as well but this is very basic you can pull your own personal tasks as well you can pull pull your own um kind of a organization tasks as well whatever you believe you need to discipline in terms of the timeline and actions i think it's worth starting a day with with this kind of very simplified it takes like hardly 10 15 minutes to set it up i mean fill it up and then keep updating it and these guidelines that you will set up in this tracker will help you to understand how you can make um, follow-up of the actions that you may have um, in, in future or in past as well. We'll continue on action tracking. We'll continue on development of spreadsheets that are useful, that are helpful for us, and that we can utilize to gain productivity. That's the purpose of the tool, indeed. So stay with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do share your comments about the video. Do share if you want some enhancement for yourself that you want to see with, with your other fellows on the YouTube as well. I will be very happy to bring it on this channel. Like the video and share it with your friends. Take care of yourself, fellows. Stay safe. And I look forward to speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.